Hey YouTube, uh, it's Amanda, and welcome to my pregnancy week 31. Um, actually, this is going to be kind of like a review, I guess, because tomorrow I'm 32 weeks. Um, somehow I've gotten off. I usually make my vlogs on 31, or I'm sorry, I make my vlogs on Thursdays. And yeah, school's kind of in the way recently, so a little behind, sorry. But I would first like to um, thank Sasha. Um, her user's name on YouTube is Beauty Isn't Everything. I've been watching um, her vlog since the fall of 2008. Um, and that's when I had my third miscarriage. And she was just really inspiring to me and I've always um, followed her. But she has started doing a Super YouTuber of the Month. And she made me her first Super YouTuber. And that was really kind of her and I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate all of her viewers, or the ones that have stopped by my channel and, um, you know, taken the time to watch some of my vlogs and comment and subscribe. And I really, really appreciate that. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I hope that you continue to enjoy my vlogs and I don't let you down. <laughs> um... But anyway, uh, as far as my pregnancy for um, pregnancy week 31, my um, symptoms are pretty much the same. You know, it's kind of like the first trimester um, symptom has returned. Um, it's been like that since the beginning, well, almost since the beginning of the third trimester. But, you know, kind of being tired, um, well, I guess it's probably the only one I can think of. I kind of have a headache today. I think it's just because I took a test at school. And I was kind of stressed about it. But um, as far as, like, I still have my hip pain that I've had. I even asked my mom about that because she's had four children. And she said that she never had hip pain when she slept at night. And I've used every kind of, you know, positioning my pillow in every different way. And it still hurts. But it's not the end of the world still excited. I mean, I'm still very thankful to be pregnant. You know, even if I complain about certain symptoms, I just, I actually really enjoy being pregnant more than, um, there's not enough, there's the, like the bad symptoms really aren't enough to say, man, I don't want to be pregnant anymore. Like I love it. I think I could be one of those people that could just like be pregnant all the time. <laughs> um, now that I finally, my fifth pregnancy have made it, you know, to being this big. Um, it's, I love it. I absolutely love it. But anyway, um, other symptoms. I have hip pain that's still bothering me. Um, I'm not, I haven't been nauseous anymore. My, um, I'm still like leaking out of my right breast only. I'm hoping that um, changes soon because that kind of worries me a little bit. Um, but I have a doctor's appointment next week on the 10th. I'm not really sure what day that is. And I'm going to ask them about that. Because it's been going on for a few weeks now. Or like maybe a month. Where it's just my right breast leaking. And I don't know. I don't know if it's possible that you have like one that doesn't ever work. But I don't know. Anyway. Um, another. Okay. A newer symptom that's not really so new. Because it, it haunted me in the first trimester. But it is slobbering all over my pillow and I mean I'm not you're not talking about you're just you know little bitty slobber I mean like if I didn't wake up I might drown in it that's how bad it is you know I mean it's disgusting and I'm flipping my pillow constantly and I have to wash the pillowcase constantly because it's just so gross um I have never in my life like drooled that much in my sleep I'm not really sure why that happens when you're pregnant, but it is a very strange symptom. Um, and it's kind of more funny than anything, I think. But as far as symptoms go, that's really it. Um, Weston has been moving like crazy lately. Um, past a week, really. He is just, I don't know if he's trying to change positions or what. I hope he's not because he was like in the right, in the correct position at 28 weeks or 29 weeks when I had that ultrasound. So I'm hoping he stays that way because I know it gets harder for them to move the bigger they are. But um, yeah, he's just, he is moving like crazy. Um, 
my sister and I, for my new viewers who haven't caught up maybe with my vlogs yet, my sister and I are only three weeks apart in our pregnancy. Um, she's three weeks behind me. And um, her first pregnancy, well, she had a miscarriage at like nine weeks, but her second pregnancy um, ended at 20 weeks. And she just had incompetent cervix. And the baby wasn't viable at the time. And uh, so this time they gave her a cerclage. They're keeping a closer eye on her. And she did start dilating at 24 weeks this time. And she's been on strict bed rest. And then she's had a couple of um, hospital trips since. And um, she having actual contractions pretty um, close together. So if you hear my stomach growl, just ignore it. <laughs> I am so hungry right now. Um, anyway, so we're having a baby shower together this Saturday. And I have to go to my home state, Tennessee. So we're going to have to make a trip up there. But I am so excited. I'm so excited to see my family. Um, as of right now, we have like 67 confirmed people. And that's between my sister and I. And um, the facility that we rented has couches. So one of the couches we're going to set up for my sister because she has to lay down. So it'll be really nice, neat to have uh, both of us there and to see all of our family and friends. I'm really, really excited about that. Um, oh yeah, this week I have after my I have one more final tomorrow when school's over. I'm so excited! And I'm gonna start. Um, I have to finish a blanket I'm making for a friend. I love to crochet, so I'm making her blanket. I'm bringing my sister a blanket, and I have like, I'm gonna make about 70 or 75 party, our baby shower favors. So I have to do that this week before Friday. And then next week, I plan to hopefully start that little project. I showed you that little craft project <clears throat> about the material with like the little wooden letters and, and the um, fabric that I'm gonna uh, make. And I'll do like a little craft video for that when I start it. Um, I would show you the room, but has, there's no change. We were going to paint it this past weekend, or my husband was going to paint it, but he didn't get around to it. So, um, not really sure when that's going to happen now. And then also next week, I want to start reading um, this hypnobirthing book um, that I received in the mail today. And I'd also like to thank... Um, Catherine for sending this to me. Um, her U her YouTube username is Cookie Party, and I'll put that in the description bar below. But um, she, you need to check out her channel um, because she she did the hypnobirthing with her second child, and she just had him not long ago, like three weeks ago. I'm not really sure exactly, but it wasn't long ago at all, and. Um, Anyway, she read the book, listened to the CD, and she had a home birth in water. And so she has a vlog on that. And um, are you actually, she has edited a video, rather, of the actual experience. And it's just amazing how calm she is and relaxed. So I'm, I'm just really, really excited to try this with my birth with, um, our giving birth to Weston. So, um, thank you, Catherine, so much for sending this to me. I really, really appreciate it. And um, for my subscribers, please go check out her channel, and especially that particular video, because it is awesome. And so I'm going to start this soon, reading this. And I think that's everything. I'm going to show you my belly. <laughs> Hasn't changed from last... I don't think it's really changed, but my husband seems to think I am growing. But like he says from the back, you can't tell that I'm pregnant or anything. It's just <laughs> when you see me from the side. I should do this here. And I have discovered like probably ten more stretch marks underneath my belly button, like right above my uh, pubic bone or pelvic bone I guess <clears throat> whichever you want to call it and um, yeah I'll show you those later I'll probably do that right now 
But anyway, I hope you enjoyed my vlog. And um, thank you again to all my new subscribers. And thank you to Sasha. And thank you to Catherine. And I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.